Hi, it's Lisa here. So today's video I'm just going to be basically cleaning out the camper um, because it's a Saturday, we've been in Christchurch for about three weeks now and although it is actually it's a beautiful day but wanted to make sure the camper's cleaned, sorted out, ready for whenever we want uh, our next adventure. Um, so that's what we're doing today and um, it's really great to be able to clean it out. We've got our own garage that it's in. Um, which is great um, but yeah just gonna do that and then I can show you around when we're finished how it really looks like and um, when it's not full of stuff um, so yeah I can give you a bit of a tour around um, after I've cleaned it so here it goes so the only thing I've got to work with is that brush um, which I'm sure will be fine we don't want to have to you know buy lots and lots of new things and I'll probably just swipe down the surfaces. I've made sure I've got everything out um, that's necessary. Um, still got our Kiwi Van Man caps there. Um, but yeah, gonna clear everything out and then I'll give you a tour afterwards. Here is the Nissan El Grand. So this is obviously from the back. Um, all clean now um, and tidy. Doesn't look much different to before. Just got lots of stuff from under there. So I just thought I'd explain a little bit about it. So Kiwi Van Man, he's on YouTube, he did this conversion and um, I'll just show you. So basically um, this is the bed and I think these are custom made uh, like double mattresses. Um, as you can see they're quite thick. It's my hand, you know, they're quite thick um, and comfortable. and. Um, this is uh, underneath so you've got plenty of space underneath there we have an uh, inverter here so we've got under here battery and once you connect that to there you're able to charge your phone charge your laptop As you can see uh, I think you can see that enough you've got the USB and um, the plug socket there so that's really great and this is our bedside table so when everything's out that was really handy for putting stuff on and we have a little thing here I haven't yet tidied that out and um, that needs a little sweep but um, really little good storage space there and you've just got the velcro to keep it in place which is handy there we are as I said the bed um, this bit here, here, um, that kind of folds over. We've got the curtains here on the back, so that just makes sure we're all nice and secure. And as you can see in here, we've got the insulation for the windows. It's more of a, it's kind of a privacy thing, but also to keep some of the heat in as well, or heat out. So this is the other side and um, what's really good is um, we've got a couple of hooks there which are helpful and a mirror, always useful particularly for us ladies. And at the back here this is just um, where we've got the toilet. Um, we didn't actually use this but if we did obviously it's there. You do need a toilet if you want a freedom camp so even if someone comes around to check obviously we've got the capacity to use it if we want to. Um, this here is the front screen, um, like sunscreen. It's really useful as well just to keep the heat out. Um, we use that just for added privacy. Um, but we do have these curtains, I don't know if you can see them here. So they again go all the way over there and gives that extra priv privacy and um, darkness I suppose from the light. Um, William also hooked us up with this handy little power socket so once you get a power cable you can just feed it through the what you do you just feed it through the window and then you've got your power so that was really helpful for um, like charging up phones charging up the laptop anything like that really handy so we've just got it tucked away there ready so this is it from the other side and um, as you can see there's the hats we're really lucky because we've got these moon roofs so when it was when we just wanted to chill out um, 
we wanted a bit of privacy, um, but you can still get the light from that. This is our um, water tank. So again, we didn't really use this, um, but it would come in handy for maybe nights away. So it is just um, pressure pumped. So you just have to do that. Um, there is some water. Again, we've just got the bowl and William did make all this um, and it's really nice and well structured. So we just have a little clip here and then that comes down. And as you can see here, we've got this mesh material again. Um, but this is our water tanks. So that's all fed up properly. So this is our fresh water. This is our dirty water. And we can easily um, unclip those and take those um, take those out. Um, it's, we're going to leave some water in here anyway. Not for use, it's more, more for... I suppose washing hands and maybe the engine if we need it. Um, but that's that, so that's really good. And then this is the table. Um, it comes with a little pole, so this is one of the tables that you can just pop up and then you just add the pole um, down there. Um, but I have packed that away for the moment because we don't really need it. Um, but yeah, so really handy, um, we've got our little, there's a little hole here, you can't really see it, but we've got our power cord in there if ever we need it. So there you have it, there's the tour of the van. I hope you enjoyed that mini tour of the van. Um, we really love this van, it's so comfortable, um, even just driving it is around the city, or even just when we were travelling it for a month. It's really a great van to go in, um, we love it, um, as I've said. <laughs> and as William says on his YouTube channel, it's kind of like a stealth van, in that it blends in, in that it's like a, because it used to be a seven or eight seater um, SUV, um, but also now, obviously, it's a, you can go freedom camping in it, which we are planning to do soon, so keep an eye out for that video. Um, but yeah, all in all, a great van. Um, it's really done as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little show around of it. Now that you've seen us traveling around the country um, in it as well. So keep tuned for some new videos. And if there are any comments on this van or anything like that, then please let me know in the comments below.